Hey guys, Zero back again in another Warhammer Wednesday. And as before, we are continuing on with our uh, Astra Militarum Imperial Guard uh, series. Um, and this time we are actually opening up probably one of the last of the kits that he's going to get, uh, Rob's going to get for his army. Um, and it was just one of those kits that, you know, it's a pretty cool looking little kit, so he just decided to pick it up. Uh, I don't know what capacity he's going to use it in, but it's it's there. So today we're going to take a look at the Tarox and Tarox Prime. These are the Tempestus Guard vehicles. Um, it's a pretty cool vehicle. I kind of I kind of dig the look. Uh, he does too. So we're going to get over to the table, take a look at it, check out the sprue, see what you guys think. Uh, I don't have a box, but that's okay. We're still going to look at the sprues and see. Um, again, maybe you guys like it, maybe you don't. Um, it's not for. I know there's a lot of mixed feelings about this vehicle. Kind of looks like a big turtle, um, but excuse me. I think that um, I think it's ha it, ha it does have its place in 40k. So let's get over to the table and check it out. All right, hang tight. All right, guys. So here it is. Well, the instructions at least. Um, We'll take a quick look. These are the black and whites. I do believe that's the CG models though. So you've got your tools, accessories needed. First things first, you build the tracks, which is freaking cool. Um, so a little thing, a lot of people don't like these tracks. They don't, you know, so some companies, some, some third party companies even created uh, resin conversion kits like wheels and wheels and tracks different types of tracks for it It gives it a more realistic look uh, More of a truck look rather than a armored vehicle. It does look like an armored car But uh, gives it that look, you know, but anyway, that's the treads or tracks whatever you guys call it Okay, and we've got the axles With the suspension <laughs> those cool little shocks because this thing goes off-road Does four-wheeling then you've got the main hull chassis. Cool, cool, cool. It's got some space in there. It looks like it's got some detail on the inside. We're going to take a look on the sprue and see what that really looks like. Um, and then you attach your, your, your rear frame. That's cool. Oh, so it's smaller in the front than it is in the back. Okay. That's cool, yeah. Cool, 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 cool. All right, and then you've got your accessories attachments, your rear door and plate it looks like a big safe door so <laughs> it's an ar it's a 40k armored car with a giant safe attached to it so you can you can haul cash bro you can haul those imperial creds wherever you got to go in necromunda or <laughs> hell's reach or any underhive you're, you're tooling around in the tempestus garter cruising around with an armored car <laughs> no wonder they're getting jacked by gene stealer cults all the time it, it does look like an armored car. It's still cool though. I love it. I love it. It's cool. So you can build two variants. You can build the Tarox uh, with the gun turret, with the auto cannon turret, it looks like, or the Tarox Prime with a missile launcher. Pa pow. Because, you know, that's what missile launchers do. They pa pow. And then you've got the tank commander spot. If you want to build that, that's kind of cool. He's just sitting there, chilling on his little pedestal chair get shot at with his punk ass armor so you attach the side guns and again auto cannons or las cannons I'm not sure which ones they are I'm not I don't know for sure but here you've got your different cannon options you know your different uh, weapon options it's kind of cool it gives you a variety that's cool I like that again I'm no expert but it looks like in these two at the very least, even in this, you could probably magnetize this and have both. I'm just saying it's a little bit extra work, but if you're not going to get more than one of these, magnetize that bitch and make it flexible so that you can, you know, build multiple versions. Ooh, there's that cannon there. So you can build multiple versions of it, you know what I mean? And why not? And you can change it up for the army you're fighting against, you know? Yeah, there's the missile launcher, there's the main cannon. Looks like a battle cannon. But I don't know. And then there's the missile launcher. There's the final stages, and then you've got your profile picture. 
It was cool. I like these little schematics. It kind of reminds me of like Gundam kits and anime uh, tech manuals. They always do the little schematics of the views of the vehicle. The vehicle looks pretty cool to me, man. I don't know. Like I said, it's, it looks like an armored car, but I mean, it is what it is, right? Nah. Let's take a yeah. So, here we have the first sprue. And yeah, we've got a ton of little accessories, the bumper, the turret, top, weapon pieces, the top hatch, the different top hatches. Looks like the internal floor plating. You know, the part of the cannon, there's the missile launcher uh, heads. You know, this is really cool because, again, it's filled to the brim with pieces, man. There's just bits everywhere. This is like a converter's fucking dream right here. You can do so much with this stuff. That's just very cool. And there's the back side. We'll get it up close to you guys so you guys can see it a little better. Uh, I apologize. This is the first time I'm seeing this kit. So so please bear with me and my noob excitedness. Yeah, we can hold this guy right there. So you see there's a ton of bits on here. I mean, I'm sure all of it has its place on the vehicle, but I'm sure there's also going to be a ton of extra bits. Again, I, I said this in one of my other videos, you know, for uh, the uh, Imperial Guard uh, heavy weapons teams. Like, you can use all these bits to adorn bases. Don't be afraid. You know what I'm saying? That's what you're using them for. That's what you're saving. Unless you're saving them to sell them as a bits, uh, like a, you know, like a Imperial Guard bits, you know, here, 50 bucks, whatever. Some, some people do that, and there's nothing wrong with that. But if you're not, if that's not what you're doing, then fucking use them. Use them. Decorate your bases. You know? Give yourself some, uh, some story. In the base, a lot of, I see a lot of guys, and this, I don't paint a lot of my stuff right away, and I, I know that. I'm, you know, I slack on the painting. And it sucks, because right now I can't paint, you know, because of my hands and my, my, my condition. You know, um, but I hate going to a place and seeing a beautifully painted model. Like, I mean, we're talking phenomenal, even if it's just brush work or even airbrush. But then you look at their fucking base and all you see is spray colors or paint colors on the fucking base. And it's like, come on, dude, that one little step you could have taken. Sand and glue, that's it, sand and glue. And your guys could have been somewhere. They could have been on a beach. They could have been on a rocky outcropping, you know, whatever. You know, it gives them story. It gives them placement. It gives them you know, a location to imagine, you know, it gives you more dynamic uh, imagination capabilities, you know, when you have a, just a plain ass base that's just got paint splattered on it, it's like, you, why even paint the model, why, why, why go halfway, you know, um, and I'm not saying you have to do scenic bases or golden demon bases, but at least, fuck, some sand and some glue, and you don't even have to do that now, now you fucking Games Workshop makes a paint that you just paint the shit on and boom, instant base. All you gotta do is dry brush it, maybe. Maybe. If you even want to. But there you go. You have a fucking base on your guy and it's done. You know. But I, I digress. I apologize. It's another rant. So here we have the lower hull. Looks like some more of the, the front tracks. Yeah, it looks like the front tracks, which are very tiny. Hold on a second. No, that's that's both. Okay, so here's the, here's the rears, there's the rears, and there's the fronts. Those are tiny. Hmm. But again, it's not that big of a vehicle. So we've got the doors, the suspension arms, more uh, griblies like headlights and hull parts, hull adornments, I should say. Uh, looks like tracks for the tr the, the tracks. <laughs> It's pretty cool. Again, the sprue is packed pretty good. So there's not a lot of uh, wasted space. And that I enjoy. I don't like wasted space on vehicles. Or on sprues. Because it means they could have done more, but they said, nah, fuck it. Like some of the old school sprues. But that's okay. It kicks it. There's the hood. With the cool vents. Because, you know, that engine needs cooling, man. Because it goes off-road! Alright, we'll get a closer look for you guys.
I apologize for my shaky hands. Hopefully one day that'll stop. But it's not a bad little kit. Two sprues, you know, you get, you get everything you need to build one of the two with three different types of, four different types of weapons on it, or weapon armaments, however you want to call it, you know. So it's not a bad little kit, but, so my buddy Rob informed me that he will not be using these tracks. He doesn't like them and he won't be using them. So he purchased from an outside company, a third party, someplace in Eastern Europe. Because I, I had mentioned it to him that they make these at one point, because he was like, I don't like it, it looks stupid with the tracks. And I was like, you know they make wheels for these things. So my dude went out and got himself a set of resin wheels to be used with that tread, sci-fi tread, uh, with this kit. They've got the axles here, you know, it needs a little warping, needs a little TLC, but I'm sure he'll handle it. Cabby's an excellent miniature builder. He's a hobbyist, he's a, you know, craftsman. He can build if he needs to, so I have no doubt that he will handle this business right here. Um, here it looks like the front, the front axles. So you basically glue these pieces onto the chassis and then you glue your wheels on, you know, uh, big beadlock wheels, you know, so that the vehicle can go off-road. There you go. So there's six, so it's a six-wheeler. It's got two in the back, one in the front. Booyah. You know, that, that's how it's going to be handled, you know what I'm saying? And what is this? Looks like just an extra piece of resin. What is this? Oh, that's the front. Okay, so that's re really cool. You can actually get this kit online. You just got to look up Tarox Conversion Kit, and you'll find it. It's not a recast. It's actually cast by a very, like I said, a legit third-party company, you know? Um, so there's no, you know, there's no, oh, you, you know, you recast. Even though you guys know how I feel about recasts. I love them. Um, I think they're a great addition for people who cannot afford the full-scale models. You know, I understand that it takes money away from Forge World in some way. I get that. But I'll be honest, I can't afford some of those kits. And I couldn't for the longest time. I afforded, I, I have Forge World kits. I bought some of the, the biggest kit I bought from Forge World was the um, Tyranid Sith Herodule and Barbed Herodule. They were the biggest kits I bought, and they were fucking expensive. And I, I bought them. I bought all my Aeronautica stuff from Forge World. I bought all my, I bought my flying hive first flying hive tyrant. I bought, you know, Space Marine stuff. I bought Tyrion and stuff. You know, so I have my share of Forge World kits. But those big kits, I just couldn't reach. I just could not reach like the Hell Talon or, you know, a Titan. And with this recasting, I can, and I can add that to my army. I'm not limited, based on my budget you know that whole pay to play 40k shit that's done i don't that, that doesn't even exist anymore cuz now i can afford to bring it to the table you know so this is a legit company i can't remember the name i'll try to get it before i post the video and put it in the description so you guys can check it out but they make like wheels they make little uh, different types of treads like tank treads for it like half track treads from like german you know, the old german half tracks they have treads like that different kits they also have just a, another kit where the wheels are a little bigger but there's just four wheels kind of looks a little funky but you know again if you don't like this you know this design you know you you can you can work with it people saw this kit and they were like i hate those treads and then they went out and made their own and that you, you can't fault that man this is creativity right at its fucking finest you know this is being creative and with me you know that gives me a thought gives you a thumbs up so there you go guys um that is the warhammer 40k astra militarum imperial guard torox and torox and or torox prime uh kit that rob will be adding to his warhammer 40k ig army um, hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope, you know, like I said, it, maybe you like it, 
you go on and get it. Maybe you don't and say, nah, fuck that. Either way, uh, thank you guys for watching. And again, I appreciate any support you guys can give. Uh, like, share, comment. You know, um, I have a ton of get started videos. People that, like, if you have friends that are on the fence, man, share some of my videos with them because, you know, I have a ton of friends in the same boat. They just, they're just on the fence. Like, they love the look. They just hate the price, you know, and I, I get it. I, I get it. So, like I said, any, any, also any donations, I want to put my PayPal link in the bottom below. If you got in the description below, if you guys can, any, any type of donation would really help, uh, and I would appreciate it. Um, thank you guys very much for watching. We'll see you again.